Hello friends. Today we are going to describe a new retinal imaging feature called ASHH. Now, what are the similarities and differences between ASHH and already known term AMN? And what are the clinical implications of ASHH? Watch this video to know all these and more. Welcome to the Retina Imaging channel. So, let us see what this new trick video is about. In this video we will talk about AMN and then we will move to ASHH, the new clinical sign. And finally we will learn the relationship between the two and the clinical implications. So let us begin. Talking about the Henle fiber layer first. Henle fiber layer is made of photoreceptor axons which are unmyelinated. Along with that, it also has Muller cell processes which traverse the retinal layers. Henle fiber layer is not easily visualized on routine OCT. This is because it is isoreflective to outer nuclear layer or ONL. In other words, both Henle fiber layer or HFL and outer nuclear layer are seen as dark band on OCT. However, HFL may become visible when it turns hyperreflective. Now, when does it turn hyperreflective? It turns hyperreflective due to any injury like ischemia. Or it may appear hyperreflective due to its directional property, which is utilized to image it in directional OCT. Let us look at this OCT line scan, especially the ONL on both sides of fovea. We can see that, on the temporal side the ONL is completely dark without any distinction. Whereas, on the nasal side of fovea we see a hyperreflective band on the inner aspect of ONL. This is the hyperreflective Henle fiber layer, which is seen on the nasal side of fovea, but is not seen on the temporal side where it is reflective. How was it made possible to visualize the HFL differentially here? It was possible due to directional OCT which we have described in a separate trick video. Now we see what changes happen in AMN or acute macular neuroretinopathy. AMN is a disease entity classically described in young females with history of vasoactive substance use. It is generally preceded by a flu-like illness and has also been described after COVID-19. On OCT, the AMN is identified as hyperreflectivity of ONL and outer plexiform layer or OPL. We also see disruption of external limiting membrane and elispoid zone. Clinically, they are seen as petaloid dark lesion near fovea, which is hyperreflective on infrared image. This fundus photo of the right eye shows dark pigmentation near the fovea. The horizontal OCT line scan through the fovea shows hyperreflectivity of ONL and OPL. The hyperreflectivity traverses deeper to area of disruption of ELM and EZ. The same area has been highlighted with red square for clearer understanding. Here we show the hyperreflective OPL and ONL again. Disruption of ELM and EZ have also been pointed out. Now let us have a closer look at the shape of hyperreflectivity in this OCT of AMN. What do we see? We see that a curved zone of hyperreflectivity is traversing the OCT scan which starts from OPL and goes down to EZ. If we extrapolate this curved zone of hyperreflectivity onto a schematic diagram of fovea, what do we get? The curved zone corresponds to the area of Henle fiber layer. The entire stretch of Henle fiber layer has been marked with red line for understanding. And if we keep OCT image and the schematic diagram side by side, we notice that the curved zone of hyperreflectivity is actually hyperreflective Henle fiber layer with its angular shape as it dips down near the fovea. And this hyperreflectivity of the Henle fiber layer is called angular sign of Henle fiber layer hyperreflectivity or ASHH. Essentially, ASHH is the OCT sign which is seen here in AMN. In other words, the OCT characteristics of AMN are ASHH. The Henle fiber layer becomes hyperreflective and visible due to ischemia. That is what ASHH is. The point to understand here is that AMN is a disease whereas ASHH is merely a OCT sign. Similar OCT sign of ASHH is seen in many other diseases. Then, 
we should call them ASHH and not AMN. Because mere presence of the sign ASHH on OCT does not mean a diagnosis of the disease AMN. Diagnosis of AMN requires the clinical setting along with the OCT signs. Wherever we see OCT sign like AMN without clinical setting of AMN, we term it as presence of ASHH and not as AMN. Let us see another example of ASHH in a case of AMN. These are the infrared image of the right and left eyes of young girl who complained of scotoma in visual field after recovering from viral fever. The hyporeflective dark patches nasal to fovea, which are marked by black arrow, are suggestive of AMN in the given clinical scenario. The diagnosis of AMN is further substantiated by finding ASHH in both eyes. Here, the right eye shows hyperreflective OPL and ONL along with disruption of ellipsoid zone or EZ, similar hyperreflectivity of OPL and ONL along with disruption of EZ are seen in left eye as well. This is a classical case of AMN with ASHH. Finally, let us say a couple of examples of ASHH in other retinal diseases. This OCT scan shows same hyperreflectivity of OPL and ONL in an angular fashion which is marked with orange arrow. Disruption of EZ is marked by white arrow. This is a case of ASHH due to blunt trauma. It is not AMN. Similarly, this image shows paracentral acute middle maculopathy or PAM, shown as hyperreflectivity of inner nuclear layer, which has been marked by orange arrow. Note the nicely visualized hyperreflective Henle fiber layer, marked with yellow arrows along with disrupted EZ underneath. This is a case of PAM with ASHH. So this is how we understand what ASHH means, how it looks and how is it formed. It is an OCT sign which is seen in AMN and many other retinal diseases. In other retinal diseases, like those in the last two pictures, we should mark the OCT as having ASHH and not as AMN. Thank you for watching. We really hope you found this and other trick videos informative. Do subscribe to Trick the Retina Imaging channel and spread the word. Thank you very much.